We are following a developing story out of Sri Lanka. That's where the country's prime minister is warning about more explosives and militants being out there following the Easter Sunday suicide bombings. We're also learning ISIS is claiming responsibility for the attacks that killed more than 300 people, including several Americans. CBS4's Ian Lee has the latest. Sri Lankan local media says this security camera video shows one of the suicide bombers approaching St. Sebastian Church, then walking between the pews. That's where authorities say he detonated a bomb, killing himself and more than 100 others. Five other nearly simultaneous bombings left a wake of death and destruction in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. The government believes two domestic Islamist groups are responsible. So far, about 40 people have been arrested in connection with the attacks, but the prime minister warned there may be more militants with explosives at large. He also says Sri Lanka's security officials had been warned about the attacks from foreign intelligence services and the information was not shared with his office. What has happened is a breakdown of communication. Some will have to be removed from their posts. Today, the country is in mourning. Stores closed and white banners flying as a mark of respect. Sri Lankans observed three minutes of silence for the victims, then got back to burying the dead. In Nagumbo, an entire new graveyard had to be dug as there were so many victims. Four Americans are among the dead, including 40 year old Dieter Kowalski of Denver and fifth grader Kieran Shafritz de Zoiza. Zoiza attended Sidwell Friends School in Washington, where the children of several presidents have attended. His father spoke to him on the phone just before the attacks. Kieran was the most articulate and insightful and kind and loving kid. They have no idea what they took. The U.S. State Department says several other Americans are seriously injured. Ian Lee, CBS News, London.